distinctly. Uh, I've had the opportunity now to uh, speak with a number of my colleagues, actually on both sides of the aisle, uh, reached my decision, and uh, obviously communicated that uh, this morning. So if you have any questions, happy to respond. Senator, I mean, the party made a, you know, back in 2016, the message was, let the voters decide. And that was eight months before an election. We're less than two months before an election. Why is it appropriate now, even in divided government, why is it appropriate now to not let the voters decide? You know, I think at this stage, it's appropriate to look at the Constitution and to look at the precedent which has existed uh, over, well, since the beginning of our country's history. And in a circumstance where a uh, nominee of a president is from a different party than the Senate, then more often than not, the Senate does not confirm. So the Garland decision was consistent with that. On the other hand, when there's a nominee of a party that is in the same, uh, in the same party as the Senate, then typically they do confirm. So the Garland decision was consistent with that, and the decision to proceed now with the President Trump's nominee is also consistent with history. Um, I came down on the side of uh, the Constitution and precedent as I've studied it, uh, and uh, and make the decision on that basis.